Hello everybody, welcome back to your channel Echo Engineering. In this video, I'm going to show you how I used MQL5 language to implement our code for cascade trading techniques. In this video, I'm going to show you the functions that I have used and uh, we are going to talk about what is the pros and cons of using these techniques, where should we use this technique and where should we not use this technique. If you have not uh, watched the video regarding this technique and how it is working, I leave you the link to the video in the descriptions and you can find it here at the top of this video too. Please go and watch it, but if you have seen it, uh, you don't need it to go there, you can just keep to this video here. But please notice that this code is written only for educational purposes and you should not use it in your daily trading. You can use it in your, uh, for example, demo account, but to use it in your real account, it's not being tested and you should test it by yourself. You should accept your responsibility. But I suggest you to implement your own code, your own your own algorithm. You should learn how to implement your algorithm because I believe without using algorithmic trading, no one can be constantly profitable. I leave you the link to download this expert advisor in the descriptions. You can use the, this link to download it and see how I wrote it. Having said that, before jumping into the code, there is a topic that I want to discuss and cover here. If you have been watching our channel for a while, you will notice that uh, recently we have uploaded some videos about Python. That's, it may seem that we have changed uh, the topic of our channel, but remember that the main focus of our channel was always and will be always on algorithmic trading. And the higher level of algorithmic trading is actually by using the Python libraries, including the machine learning libraries like uh, Scikit-Learn or Google TensorFlow or PyTorch. So from now on, we try to do our trading by Python and we do our portfolio management, our risk management or market analysis with Python libraries, with a focus on the data science libraries, including NumPy, Pandas, and uh, Matplotlib. But then we learn the machine learning, and it's very important because uh, Python give, gives us too many libraries that they are much more practical than what we have in MQL5 or C++ languages. So uh, if you have not watched the Python videos, if you are not a, program, a Python programmer, I highly recommend you to go and watch the tutorial for Python Basic along with the object-oriented programming with Python and inheritance video because these three topics are uh, somehow backbones of algorithmic trading with Python. Okay, uh, here is the code. First of all, we define our includes, then we define our inputs and the variable that we are going to use in our code. Here, the most important ones are actually the risk person, which I always want it to be 1% of my balance. Then risk to reward is 2, entry point, take profit, take profit points, stop loss, and stop loss, new. The stop loss, the normal stop loss will be open at the beginning of the trade. Stop loss new is the one that we want to update it whenever we go higher and the market is going in our favor. So, uh, and when we come down here in the antique, which is the main body of our code, I define a time structure class here, and it is time structure. Then we I use it to calculate the current time. Here in this section, we have the trailing stop loss. It's working like whenever, whenever the number of the symbols is greater than two, and we have opened a buy order, and the bid is less than stop loss. It it means the market has already gone in our favor and we have opened several trades together. But now the stop loss, the new stop loss is defined, stop loss new, which at the button you can see how it is defined. But when we trailed our stop loss several times and suddenly the price goes back and it hit the new stop loss, it means the bid will be less than stop loss. When we are in the buy position and the bid is less than stop loss, then we close all order. This while will be run until all orders for this symbol is zero. This symbol open order is a function that I am using by myself. You don't have it. Uh, if you want to have access to my uh, functions that I use them, I leave you the video for that where in this video you can download them. And here, this is for the sell orders, when the number of open orders for this symbol is greater than two. And uh, the open order is not buy and ask 
is greater than new stop loss, then again, we should close all orders. So when we are in the buy position, we should uh, go below the stop loss. And when we are in the sell position, we should go above the stop loss. So we can we close we close all the open orders. Here is the main program. This part, this was somehow the trailing and this part was just the trailing and closing all open orders. But here it is how we open order and how we more importantly open new orders. Here we say if this is the new candle in one hour time frame, then you are allowed to open an order. Why we are doing that? Because we want to restrict our code to be able to open only one order per candle. But honestly, this section, this line of code, I will neglect them because I wrote them if in case that I want to not open an order more than two candle, two hour, uh, two uh, candle in the one hour time frame. So I just ignore it, ignore these two lines. Here we open buy or sell order. Remember, this strategy, this cascade trading strategy is only a technique to close an open order. It's not a strategy to open an order. So you should already have a profitable strategy and then use this cascade trading technique to maximize your strategy. So some of you just uh, comment me why we tested, why this, we test this strategy and it doesn't work like you want what you explained. Because this is not a strategy. I'm just using some simple momentum strategy to open an order. But, but opening an order is not about cascade trading. Closing the order is about the uh, uh, cascade trading. Okay, it's very important. So again, I repeat, you just use this technique for closing your order. You should have a profitable strategy, then maximize your profit with this cascade. Here is my opening strategy, opening an order strategy, and it says whenever the price in one minute time frame. Increase, increases more than this percentage, which if I go up, I can see what is the value for that. Price change percent. It is 0, 0, 0, 001. It means when in one frame time frame, the changes is more than that, then you should open an order. And at the same time, we should not have any other open orders. And we should be between six, out, uh, 6 in the morning and uh, 20 at the evening and trade is allowed then if these conditions are true here we open a buy order and here we open a sell order how we open a buy order we should have first the momentum and we should cross the rsi to the upper limit but here if we have the momentum and we are crossing the rsi to the lower limit then we are allowed to open a sell order here to this point is when the order totals are zero and generally this condition here is correct. But if this condition is not correct, it means we have already opened an order and if it is buy, we run this part and if it is sell, we run this part, okay? If it is buy and the ask is greater than take profit, in this case, we should, we should buy a new order and we should uh, trail our stop loss to 20 points below the current entry point. So we say new take profit, we calculate new take profit, it's equal to risk to reward plus stop loss point, and we open a new buy order, and we define stop loss new, and it is ask minus minimum stop loss point, which we defined here, Minimum sub loss point 25. So uh, the new sub loss would be 25 point below the new entry point. And for sell order, we have the same. When it is not buy, it means it, the open trade is sell. And bid is less than our take profit. It means we hit our take profit. Then we open a new order. And new sub loss for all open order would be 25 point higher than new entry point this is how i wrote this this code but again just uh to focus and emphasize on it this strategy is only for clo closing an order and we do not use it for open an order i hope you enjoyed this video uh and you can use uh, the link 
that I leave in the descriptions to download the strategy by yourself and check it how I wrote it. Please learn the algorithmic trading and implement your thought so you can implement your algorithm and you can be profitable in long run. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to hit the like button. So algorithm, YouTube algorithm will introduce us to those who are interested in these topics too. Wish you have a good day. Goodbye.